Hello everybody, this is Robbie A. Gray here, here to discuss with you and show you some uh, gameplay footage for the Dark Forest. Um, so when I'm done, feel free to give me some constructive feedback on it. Uh, for the most part, it's like I'm, you know, I'm going to show you like maybe a glimpse of the battle system. Um, you're actually going to see a couple of characters I've mentioned, for those of you guys who have been following on the forums. Um, but you're actually going to get see them. Um, I will warn, there are no portraits up yet, so you'll notice in the dialogue it's just like words on the bottom of the screen, which is okay, but I'm hoping to put some portraits in this at some point. But so yeah, just sit back, watch, and tell me what you think when you're done. You know, give me some constructive feedback, because that really helps. Hey guys, this is uh, Robbie A. Great, and I'm going to show you the battle system in this game. Um... In the Dark Forest, we use the Requiem ABS-9 battle system, and we're going to show you uh, how it works in this battle system. In this scenario, uh, Robert's going to encounter a wolf as he's going through the forest, and it's this much, at this moment it serves as a tutorial on how to how uh, you fight the wolf. So, um, you equip an item in your in the you know using the menu, which has already been done prior to this video. In this case, it's been the wood axe, and you use the A key to fight. So, and you do that, and occasionally, and most of the time, they'll drop items. This time, he didn't. This time, he the wolf didn't drop anything. Usually, he'll drop some gold or some wolf meat, but this time, he didn't drop anything. But for the most part, that's how it will work in the game. Now we're going to show you um, another feature, and what we have is we have a clothing system. So first we're going to go to the equip menu, if it will let me. Um, so as you can see, we have the trench coat. Now when it's not equipped, as you can see, it goes to a standard clothes. But when it is equipped, no one. Um, when it is equipped, it changes the look. And this has been done using comments and... Uh, Sorry, not comments, uh, common events and variables in order to do this. Now we're going to show you um, a couple of things. So first we're going to show you, you're actually going to see two of the new characters, and then you're going to see a sample of the new trust system we're going to be using in the game. So here we have Rachel, and she's in Robert's neighbor in the apartment. And so what you're going to see is, like, you know, they're talking... Um, she's been having issues with her email. She's also trying to find keys to her apartment, which she finds. Um, but then, you know, you get the choice here. So it's like, do you just leave her alone or do you say, you know, volunteer to help her with her email? Because what it is, is like she's having, like, some, their emails just acting kind of funny. So pretty much you tell her that you'll set up with the police firewall because you're one of the detectives. And as you saw, there was a face right there that, um, that shows up whenever a person gains trust in you. Now at this point, like I've said, I don't have any portraits. But when I do get some portraits, I'll probably design it so that uh, whenever uh, you'll see it like a, in the upper corner of the face, you know, of the black face, you might see a circle with the, per with the character's uh, face in there. So you know who you're earning trust or losing trust with. So yeah, so that's, you know, Rachel, she's your love when you're loving. Well, she is a potential love interest in the game, and so yeah. And now we're gonna introduce you to Dace Muscati, and not a lot has been discussed with about her, um, unless you, of course, you've been following us on the thread, uh, and on the forums. So here she is. This is the first ever shown sprite of her. It is the first time you ever see the sprite of her in play and so she teleports in what is this ever since you know sometime after the event that uh, robert uh witnessed the girl die you know the little girl die at the you know the, per the beginning of the game uh he's been seeing days with scotty she's been showing up and the strange thing is he is the only one who can see her no one else can but so they have this kind of this love hate relationship she likes him but he doesn't like her he finds her uh extremely annoying part of it's because she rhymes a lot as you're going to see right here, it's like, uh, you know, he's talking, telling her that toothy does not rhyme with juicy. And so then she's going to say, you can't blame me for trying. So I guess I must be flying. So, and that's pretty much where she leaves the game. And so, yeah, that's 
pretty much, you know, th that's the gameplay footage that I'm, you know, come to show you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like, you know, press that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Yeah, more than happy to have you on here. And I'm more than happy to, you know, do some more videos. And like I said, provide some constructive feedback because that helps. Uh, so thank you very much and goodbye.